Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1105. And if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, this is 1105, 1104. We had a free DVD giveaway. All 25 DVDs have been shipped. That giveaway is over. Oh, but we have a great trick here. Our goal is to get grades from this column based on two conditions or criteria, student ID and academic quarter. Then we need to calculate the min. Now I have lots of videos of this, and there's lots of great formulas. Array formulas is one way, because there's no min if. But this video, we want to see when not to do an array formula. Here's the deal. We can use D functions if we have a proper data set with field names. We can set up our criteria with field area with field names. And we're not copying the formula down and over, which is really hard for D functions. All right, so we have a proper data set. There's the field names. The field names will help the D function communicate with the criteria area and the proper data set. All right, and since this is an AND criteria, we have to look through each record and find spring true, student ID true. That's an AND criteria. Both have to be true. When you're doing D functions, you actually have to set up field name criteria below, field name criteria below. AND criteria will be on the same row, or criteria would be on separate rows. Now I have some other much more comprehensive videos on D functions if you want to check those out. The Highline Excel 2013 class video series is amazing. Video 12 talks about D functions. Let's just jump in and see D min. There's a D min and a D max. I'm going to take D min. D is for database, min is for minimum. Database, that means field names at the top in the entire data set. Those field names are mandatory because they will communicate with the criteria area. Comma, field just says, which one of these fields do you want to get the numbers from and make the calculation? In our case, 1, 2, 3, you can either put 3 or you can put the field name either from a cell reference or as double quotes uh, entered into the field argument. And criteria argument, that means you have to have the field names and the criteria. That's it. That's the beauty of D min. It is so simple. No array formula here. It got the min. If I go ahead and change the criteria instantly, wow, look at the same one. Or if I change the quarter to winter, well, there's only one. 2.8. So making a min calculation with two criteria. When you have a proper data set and you can field it, set up your criteria area, forget array formulas. D functions are awesome. All right, we'll see you next video.